Maybe it's time we start bashing our way in. Especially since now that blood trail stopped at the door. And there were more than walkers than that when I came in. Logan. Isn't that the name of the doctor on that tape? Too bad I don't know the combo. Smash it open. Can't open it without the combination. Hmm. It's like I'm gonna have to walk around. Uh, just for a check, you never know what something might be written on here or something. Mm -hmm. Nope. Been out there. Empty lock up. Can't look at it. Oh god, they're filled up quick. Obviously not going to go that way. Am I going in now? It's locked. Hmm. Looks like I'm going to have to get my investigator Leon. Oh, oh, I'm still empty. You never know, someone might have just put something in there in the last couple of seconds. Can't open it, can't open it. Looked at them already. Hmm. Nothing much has changed in here. Hmm, maybe this isn't the place to go. Bree, do you have anything to tell us? Hey, I... I'm a little busy here, Lee. Maybe you should go get that battery or help with the medicine. Yeah, because you look so busy. <laughs> oh, of course, what am I doing? Uh, brain fart moment. He even said inside of obviously the doctor outside, go check on him. What am I thinking? Get your head in the game, Lee. It's like we're heading back outside again. The last time we were out there, there was a whole ton of walkers, so I don't exactly know what his strategy is for getting this, but. Play it by ear, I guess. I mean, I don't think I can come back in the same way I came in last time without her help. Her lips. This is the place I'm looking for. Oh, you should know, you were just here. <laughs> Here we go again. Oh, Jesus, Q! <laughs> oh, do you know, TVs are good for something. Jeez, was that guy here last time? <laughs> Looks like you don't know how to kill him, Molly. I'm going back in there again. Curb stump! <laughs> That'll do it. Easy. This one seems to have a habit of coming back to life. This might be just what we need. What's this? Looks like some kind of code. But Vernon said the safe combination was only four numbers. Shit, time to go. <laughs> but how did he get back? That's what I want to know. Like, how did he get back over that fence again? <laughs> Looks like Lee's pulling a Houdini. Well, that code he picked up was clearly the combination for this. Logan, this must have been his locker. Oh, colour me intrigued. Let's get back here and find out. If only we had some popcorn.
I found two more tapes. One of them is dated October 10th. That's the day after the first one we watched. Put it in. Have you made a decision? I thought you said I didn't have a choice. Well, technically you do. You can terminate the pregnancy or leave Crawford. Of course, that would be a death sentence for both you and your unborn child. Maybe that's best. I stayed up all last night thinking about this. Why are we even trying to survive, to keep on living, if this is what it takes? If this is what it's turned us into? I don't make the rules, Anna. Doctor, I'm begging you. Please help me. Maybe one day, when things are different, you can try again. But for now, today, we have to do this. I think we know what happened to Crawford. More importantly, we got the combination. <laughs> Krista, are you all right? What's wrong? It's nothing. That was just hard to watch. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. All right. Let's get those meds and get the hell out of here. You're getting upset very easy. You could almost say you're hormonal. We're in business. Antibiotics, morphine. We'll take as much of this as we can carry. Okay, I think we're good. This is more than enough for your people and mine. Let's go. You know, I found a third tape in the locker outside. Maybe there's something else on there. We got the meds for Omid. That's all I care about. We'll head back to the classroom. Don't take too long, Lee. Oh, don't make me watch the film all by myself. That's just sad. Third time's a charm. Come on, Power Rangers. <laughs> Listen, as fun as this was, I have to put a stop to this little arrangement. This is the last I can give you. Why? Overson had someone down here yesterday taking inventory. He's really cracking down. I just can't risk it. We had a deal. Yes, we had a deal. We don't anymore. My sister needs this medicine. Without it, she'll die, or she'll start showing symptoms, and they'll take her away. I can't let that happen. I'm sorry, Molly. I've done all I can, but I have to look out for myself here. Yeah, that's the Crawford way, isn't it? Wellity, wellity, wellity. Knew there was more to that story. Well, shit. <laughs> My thoughts exactly. Except for, I think you put it a little better than I did. I think when Molly comes back, we're going to be having a little conversation. Speaking of, when is she coming back? And should I tell everyone else? Oh, speak of the devil. Jesus Christ! Oh, you scared the shit out of me. Where the fuck have you been? Sightseeing. I'll take that battery now. Oh, yeah. Uh, about that. I'm just kidding. And out of the magical bag. What's that? Nothing. Don't look like nothing. You can quit with the act, Molly. I know you're from Crawford. What? Who told you that? I saw you on a security tape. Why'd you lie to me? I said there were stories about Crawford. I never said that's how I knew about it. I never lied to you, and even if I did, so what? I don't owe you anything. You saved my life twice, but you can't tell me the truth? Are we really gonna do this now? Yep. I guess that's up to you. I used to live here with my sister. She was 14 years old. When the dead started walking and Crawford shut itself in, 
It seemed like a pretty good deal at first. We were safe. We had everything we needed to survive. Then the rules started coming down. No one who couldn't justify their place, earn their keep. No one who required special care. My sister was diabetic, and by Crawford's rules, that made her a liability. I kept it a secret. Kept her safe for as long as I could. But in the end, I couldn't protect her. That's when I got out. Crawford, they always talked about how their system worked. How anything was better than becoming one of them. But I saw what they'd already become. I just wish I could have seen it before it was too late. Before they came and took my sister away. This is all I have left of her. I didn't have time to take it before I got out of Crawford. I just wanted it, okay? It's okay, Bonnie. I understand. Just pretty. What the hell? I think that's our cue to get the hell out of here. Hmm, <laughs> she doesn't like it when somebody else is ringing the bell. I just got spooked by those bells, and then I heard someone coming. What the fuck are you doing out here? Kenny and I still can't get the door open to the armory. He sent me out to look for something we can use to bust it open. I found this. Oh, you did not. Uh, ben? Where did you get that? I just found it. It was stuck in the door handle at the end of the hallway back there. Oh, no. <laughs> Shit! See, that's how you do it. Wasn't me. Good going, kid. Nice shot. Thanks. Who was hitting stuff? <laughs> what the fuck is going on? They're coming. Oh shit. That ought to hold them. Sir, but now how do we get out? Through the armory. We can just get this damn door open. Come on, damn you! This is my fault, all my fault. What the hell's he babbling about? Ben, we talked about this. No, wait. I want to know what he meant. What do you mean, this is all your fault? Kenny, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, man. Kid, this ain't the best time. Whatever you did, save it for later. Ben, shut the fuck up. Fuck you, Lee. I can't do this anymore. It's been me all along, putting all of us in danger. Katja and Duck, it was all me. It was all me. Wait a minute. What are you saying? It was me who made the deal with the bandits at the motor inn, slipping them supplies. I thought maybe I could keep them off our backs. When it got discovered, that's when they attacked. And that's when Duck... Nice going, Ben. <laughs> Kitty man, I agree with you. You should kick his ass. But now's not the time. Focus on getting out of here! You little pisshead! You're fucking dead, you hear me? Dead! My wife and child! You got a both fucking killed! Kenny, listen to me. You can whip a skinny little ass later, but right now we gotta go! <laughs> well said, Lee. Not the time, Molly. If this asshole thinks he's getting on my boat after what he did, he's out of his motherfucking mind! You hear me, shitbird? You can stay behind and fucking rot! Kenny, we'll sort this out later. After we get out of here, okay? Ain't nothing to sort out. I just told you the way it's gonna be. The boat's not big enough for all of us. Somebody's gotta get left behind. Might as well be this piece of shit right here! Well, I vote we leave it. I'm sorry, Ben. I know you mean well. But all I want to do is get back to Omi, and you put that at risk. Wait, don't I get a vote? Of course you do. Ben's nice. He's my friend. We don't leave friends behind. That's my vote. On second thought, I think I'm gonna abstain. Lee? I've seen enough of Crawford to know that becoming like them is the beginning of the end. I vote Ben stays with us. 
What about the rest of us? Don't we get a say in <laughs> You ain't coming with us. Oh, now you're definitely not coming with us. <laughs> I think the zombies have given us their vote. Now can we go? <laughs> Damn right. Burning, come on. And there's karma, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Much for the armory. What's left of it? A few rounds. That's it. You didn't close that door behind us? I could. The lock was busted. Great. Just fucking great. Come on. There's got to be a way out down here. Nope. It's not gonna hold. Back upstairs. Just think of the great cardio you're getting. Lee, look! Why didn't Kenny keep the gun? I mean, I'm glad he gave it to me, but... Oh, that's why he gave it to me. Keep backing up. You are not getting anywhere near me. Oh, second thoughts, maybe you are. Get your leg out, Lee. Oh, no, I've got time. Keep shuffling the leg. Come on, it's just a little bit of wood. You can do it. Where's that mighty calf muscles of yours you've been using? Oh wait, no, that was Wolverine. Wrong game. <laughs> That's it, Lee. Stop wasting ammo. We're gonna hack and slash our way up here. Boom! Over you go, Chunky. <laughs> Falcon kick! <laughs> Boom! <laughs> that was Come awesome. Alright, no time for this now. It's alright, I'm fine. Any way out of here? This leads to the roof. We might be able to find a way down from there. You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? Yeah. Why? Never mind. I can see the sewer where we came in from here. I think we can do this. Well, what are we waiting for? Go, go! I don't like how Vernon asked about how we got here. Yeah, come on, let's go! Oh, is the noise too much for you there, Ben? Oh, looks like we found out what happened to the president of Crawford. That's some good shooting with a shotgun. I've got you! Climb up! Come on, you can do it! There's no time! You have to go! Now! Quit fucking around, Ben! Come on! Let go, damn it! Get Clem and the others out of here! Lee! We both know. Let me go! Ben, you've been a pain in the arse from day one. But you're gonna suffer just like the rest of us. Besides, you said your worst fear was to get eaten by them, so... Yeah, I just told you why. <laughs> if you're gonna go out, you might as well go out a bit better than that. <laughs> 